Doodlebug. What say you? <laughs> oh, really? You have anything else to say? Huh? That too, huh? <laughs> Hello, Lego fans. How are we doing? Hope you're doing well. My name is Andy, and let's talk about Lego. And uh, let's check out what we got done here. I got a 48-plate corner ballasted and mills-plated here. I had to do quite a bit of playing around with it to get it in there the way it is now because it, it didn't want to go in there squarely. It was like cockeyed or crooked or something. And, uh, so I had to mess around with it to get it in there to, because like I was connecting the tracks here and then it was coming apart over here and I was connecting the tracks there and it was coming apart over here. It was a mess. Now I've got it just where I want it. And I, the other thing was I was, I was getting a, a, a crooked space in here. Like one end was 19 and a half inches. The other end was 20 inches for two base plates. Obviously, you want it all to be 20 inches to to support two base plates. So that's where I got it right now. So hopefully, when I go to put in this one over here, I don't have as much trouble with it. I shouldn't because there's not as much there's not as many plates around there. I mean, ideally, since this track lined up with the track over there uh, before, you'd think that this plate should have no problem lining up with that over there, but it doesn't. You can see here it sticks out farther. And I think, I think the tracks were crooked just a little bit, just, just, just a little bit, not enough to actually notice it. But I think that's what, that's what really happened there. I mean, well, another thing is look how far in the tracks are on this end compared to what they are on that end. So it's like the whole thing shifted over to this direction. And that's what I thought too. But if I go to go, if I go to push this back over, it's connected to this track over here and it'll pull that track over and make it come apart over there. So I can't do that. But yeah, I'm just now noticing how far it is in here compared to what it is over there. So I don't know why it ended up like that. Maybe that was why it was so hard to get that in there. But nevertheless, we did get it in there. So I should be able to now, uh, well, I, as you can see, I took out my, my, uh, space center as was suggested in the comments more than once so i got several several people saying yeah you should just take it out and put it somewhere else so that uh, you can get the road in there and everything so that's what i did it's in pieces over there right now <laughs> i haven't figured out exactly where i want to put it yet and uh i gotta clean all the dust off too it's quite dusty from solid wood and everything in here recently so the road is now going to come from over here and make a sharp uh, corner and then come and meet up with this road and it's going to go straight down through here and then uh, we'll figure out at that point where it's going to go from there. But basically, it's going to run alongside the tracks and uh, on this bridge until it gets to the other platforms. What do you guys think about that? I think uh, it's pretty cool. And now since I moved the space center, I got to figure out where I'm what the heck I'm going to put in this, uh, these spaces here. I could put a couple of buildings in here. Obviously I got to remove that fence or that wall and that wall. And then depending on what I put over here, I got to move that wall too, possibly unless it, it merits having a wall there for whatever it's put over here. Now this is all tiled off in dark gray, but these plates are part of the base plates that the track is on. So I can't remove those. So I don't know if I should just remove all the tiling and do something else or keep these tiled off in dark gray. I, well, I just don't know what's, what I'm going to put in here yet. I mean, I know I'm going to put a road in here right there, but I don't know what I'm going to put over here. If you got any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Got my shelves rearranged a little bit here as I was talking about last video, what I was going to do here. I got my brick heads on these two shelves. I got enough space here to put three more risers, just like I got five risers up there on that shelf. 
So I got two risers here. I could put another three risers here. So that's enough for quite a few more brick heads. I'll, I'll be able to build the ones I got. And then, you know, anything new comes out, we'll be able to fill this shelf up. So we'll have a double shelf full of brick heads. And then I removed all the speed champions and all the creator expert cars from these shelves. And they are now over here. Look how many speed champions I have. Just look at this. It fills up this entire, almost this entire 10 foot shelf just with speed champions. I hated to, to, to just put them down here. I mean, you know, with the shelf having all this extra space and everything, I'm thinking about maybe putting another shelf in between there. But then again, I don't want to put a shelf so close where you can't see them anymore. But it seems like a waste of space having all this extra space above it when these things don't take up very much space. Maybe I will. Maybe I will raise. Maybe I'll raise this shelf up to the maximum up here at the top, and then uh, maybe lower this shelf a little bit, and then put one in the middle. That's a possibility. So up here is all my Creator Expert cars. You got the Harley Davidson, the Land Rover Defender, the Back to the Future DeLorean, the 911 Porsche, the pickup truck, the Fiat the Mustang, the Corvette, and the Camaro. These things are covered in dust too. I got a I, I I ordered one of those um one of those duster things that's supposed to replace the the can compressed air duster, but it's electric, so it's supposed to be like a thousand or a hundred thousand RPMs or something. So hopefully it works as well as a as a compressed air uh thing does and that way I can get blow some of the dust off this. This, this lonely guy is the only thing on this shelf here. What do you guys think? You think I should put another shelf in right here between the Speed Champions and this shelf? That's what I'm seriously considering doing. And then, obviously, the, the brickheads will fill up that shelf. Then I've got that shelf free. I've got some free space on that shelf. And then I've still got to remove all the boxes on this top shelf. You know what? I could put a shelf in between here and there, too. I probably could because the the expert cars don't take up that much height I don't know we'll have to figure that out but I think that is all I have for you guys today unfortunately I wish I had a little bit more to talk about but this is kind of what I've got done oh and I did place another order to Lego I got some more train track to finish that off at the end of the other platform and I got some more one-by-one one reddish brown tiles for uh, railroad ties and all that good stuff. So that should be coming in later this week. And we'll, of course, go over that as we normally do and see what we got. Hopefully by next video update, I will have the roads together here. And perhaps this other corner ballasted and mills plated and all this ballasted and mills plated up until, uh, up until that corner there and then figure out what to do with the space center as well. What are your suggestions as far as where I should put that? I'm thinking like uh, down at the other end, down there somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. We're getting close to 900 right now. We're less than 30 away. And that gets us almost, you know, even closer to 1,000 subscribers, which is the ultimate goal where we're going to give away some Lego. So help us out. Hit that subscribe button. It takes just a second. It's absolutely free and helps out the channel quite a bit. All right, guys, that's it. Take, uh, take care of yourselves. Have a good day, and I will see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>